Yo dudes, how's it going? So, it's been a while. I haven't really uh, contributed on my videos for a good long time. And I'd like to first say I apologize. Uh, but, <laughs> I, I've been busy with uh, just playing my new Switch. Which I'm going to be posting this video of, obviously. Now, I've been playing the crap out of Zelda. I'm a huge Zelda fan. Uh, it, if, I'm, if I'm known for anything in my group of friends, it's the fact that I love Dragon Ball and Zelda two main premises of my life and I tell you right now everything is second best to me when it comes to Dragon Ball or Zelda <clears throat> they are number one things well aside from my wife I don't have a choice of that but I've been playing the crap out of Zelda uh, just for a circumference I have let's see here I have 1410 screenshots uh, it's not a joke it's not a joke I have 1410 freaking screenshots. <laughs> I have been playing the crap out of this game. Um, I'm just going to put that down before I start playing randomly. Um, I've been playing it a lot, and I'm going to be still playing it for a little while, but I'm going to try and post out some videos just for till the end of this week, and then I'm going to try and get back up to date. Um, just as a small update before I really get into the thickness of this video, I am done with Dokken Battle. I am completely done. Um, I will maybe post some information videos every now and again, but I'm not going to be doing, hey, we're going to do a boss rush mode. I'm not going to be doing these crazy team ones. I'm not going to be just beating the crap out of some event boss. I'm done. I mean, I'm just done. I wasted a lot of stones on the Omega Shenron event. I didn't get anything out of it. And it just really demoralized me and made me realize I waste a lot of money on this game. Uh, I could have gotten a whole nother game for my Nintendo Switch had I not participated in spending money on the Omega Banner. I literally could have had something physically in my hands. Physically something that is real in my hands rather than playing that game. So I think I'm pretty much done. I'll probably log in for stones every now and again and um, I'll think about playing maybe later down the line when we get the uh, uh, better banners that are close to Super Saiyan 4 banners that Japan has but otherwise I just I don't see any point right now. It, it just It's fun to play every now and again, but I have better games that I want to play and that's what I'm going to do. So it's, I'm not going to have 100% Dragon Ball content anymore. I'm going to be changing my banner and everything to uh, different games and whatnot. So forgive me if I lose any subs. I apologize to you guys if I waste you your time. You thinking I'm going to have a long line of content. I originally, I, blah, blah. I originally promised a very long line of content, but that's going to come to a screeching halt. You gotta realize what you like doing, and if you don't like doing it, then, well, you better change it up. Anyways, I'm gonna just get into the thickness of this video. So I really wanted to uh, just kind of show off the Switch and its size comparisons to a lot of normal devices gamers will have. I got a Xbox One Slim, an original PS4, a Wii U, and the reason for the Wii U is because I just don't feel like I, I don't feel like I'm plugging my Wii U. My Wii U is got about four or five different USB ports into there with an external thing plug in. It's just it's really complicated because I anyways. I I figured the Wii would be fine. It's only slightly fatter than the original Wii U, so no big deal. I also got a PS2 Slim, the Switch itself, an Xbox One controller Pro, a PS4 controller. Um, and of course, I have my Vita and two 3DSs. Uh, an original fat 3DS and of course, a normal 3DS. Um, I'm also going to be showing... I wanted to show off the size comparison of the Switch controller, uh, Joy-Con controller, with the PS4 controller, purely because this, the PS4 controller is known to be very small and it's pretty small too but when you compare it to the Xbox controller which is a little bit fattier it looks like the Joy-Con grips are about the same size but actually they're not um, the Joy-Con controllers are actually much smaller than the, uh, the Xbox controllers this, I just wanted to give a good size comparison for it the sticks are about the same size I have some uh, grips on them but uh, yeah the Joy-Cons themselves are pretty tiny and you can grip them right good in your hands and they, I mean you could almost fisty cuff with them. Just for a size comparison with the Xbox controller again with the Joy-Cons, they are super tiny, like extremely tiny. Like, they could fit right on top of you. They're so light 
that they they just sit right on top of it. They don't even move the controller sticks. It's ridiculous how small and light these things are. Now I wanted to do a quick comparison of the Vita. This is a 3000 Vita, specifically the newer generation Vita that um, is not the fatty model. Um, it's actually about the same size as the Switch itself, like the screen just alone, no, no controllers attached. Um, it's actually about the same size. Um, it's actually not bad, but the actual screen itself is much bigger than the Vita. Um, if you actually look at the, the depthness of it, uh, the Vita is actually a, a little bit longer than the Switch itself. Um, only slightly though, only slightly. And that's, once again, this is without the Joy-Cons. If you pop on the Joy-Cons, it's, you could fit it right into there. Like I said, with the Joy-Cons attached, the Vita is actually very, very small in comparison. Uh, it can literally just kind of like rest it right on there and be good. Now this is my original fat 3DS. Um, my 3DS is a little bit fatter, but it's okay. Um, it's actually really, really tiny. Um, mine's fatter because it has the capture card installed on it, as you can see slightly on the side of that. Makes it a little bit thicker, but that's not a big deal anyways. But the 3DS itself is actually the exact same size as the screen of the Switch. Like the, the literal spewing of the screen that you can see on it. It's actually the same exact size, which is actually partially impressive. But um, as for a thickness, the Switch is excessively, excessively tinier than the original 3DS. Like, half the size, easily. It's easily half the thickness. Um, but even with my, ex my extra little capture card on there, it's still much smaller. Uh, the original 3D, uh, the new XL 3DS is actually uh, a pretty interesting comparison size. Uh, by the way, take a look at my uh, Goku Dragon Ball Super skin for it. I imported that from uh, Play Asia. Make sure to go check them out. Anyways, the size comparison is actually <laughs> kind of funny. Um, the th XL new 3DS is the same exact size as the Switch itself. And by size, I mean width size. Um, it's pretty much the exact same size. It's maybe slightly wider than the 3DS, but it's about the same size. My 3DS is a little bit fatter because of the case, but yeah. Also, the, you can stand the, the Switch's controller up on end. It's kind of funny, and it just doesn't move at all no matter what. It's actually very sturdy. It's interesting. Now I'm gonna do a quick PS2 Slim for the people that originally were that are that old and have a PS2 Slim. Um, the Switch itself is actually uh, pretty decently sized by comparison. Um, if the, it, the dock is mostly just plastic, but as a size comparison, it's I'm just trying to show you how mobile the thing is. The the Slim is extremely mobile, and so is the Switch. Even in a dock mode, you can just carry the thing around almost so easily. The Switch is also more like a notepad. You can just hold on to it and plop it in your pocket. Also, keep in mind, I have a screen protector on mine, so you see that I'm manhandling the Switch. It's because there's a screen protector. I'm not afraid of it. So, so I also wanted to do a very quick uh, comparison to the original Wii. Um, mostly because the original Wii is about the same size as the Wii U. Uh, I didn't really unplug my Wii U because it's got too many cords, but it's about the same size. But the dock is actually pretty uh, close to the same size. It's a little bit fatter than the original Wii. So if <laughs> if it's about a little bit fatter than the original Wii, then it's probably a little bit... Uh, it, then the Wii U is probably a lot... There's about, I don't know, almost half the size, almost half the size of a dock, a Switch dock. So I just wanted to give a quick comparison size on that. Now let's get into it a little bit with the PS4. The main premise I wanted to uh, show with the PS4 and the Xbox One Slim is that the Switch is literally the exact same thickness when placing it in the dock. Um, the dock is the exact same thickness as the original PS4 and it's about the same size as the Slim. It is so thin. This thing will not take up any of your shelf space, especially if you put your consoles on their sides like this. I don't personally, but yeah, it just, it takes up no space at all. It's crazy. 
It's actually about the same size as the shine glossy part on the original PS4. It's kind of funny. It's almost the exact same size as that, just, just as a circumference of width and height. Now, getting into the Xbox, it's, the Xbox Slim is a little bit fattier. Um, <clears throat> only slightly fattier than the Switch dock itself, but only because of the side of it. Um, right there, the, the nice little random maroon side that I have with my Gears of War. But uh, it's the exact same size as the main thickness of the console itself. So, just as a size comparison. Once again, this thing will not take up any more space than your PS4 or your Xbox One. In fact, it'll probably take up less. Now, I wanted to do just a sh quick show of how the uh, Collector's Edition of uh, Zelda, the Master Edition, compares on the sizing. A lot of people probably have already seen it, but... Just as a Dragon Ball reference, you can see that the Master Sword statue is slightly bigger, uh, as big as the other one. And also, as a little just side note, the I have a Note 3 phone still, and it's about the same size as the Switch. In all honesty, it's not too much bigger. Uh, if you got a Note, if you're showing off a Note for your uh, for your phone choice or a larger phone like a Note, then you can easily just plop this thing in your pocket easily and just throw the joy cons in there it's not that bad it's not that different but yeah i just really wanted to show off the the difference in size with the master edition goku collector's edition i think it gives off a pretty good size comparison i also really wanted to just kind of show off the joy con grips the little uh, thumbstick grips that i got with my uh, zelda skin kit now i don't i don't use the actual skin on the console because of uh, adhesive problems that have been reported but the grips that these come with for the thumbsticks are amazing. They, they, every now and again I can feel the inside of them and I, can, I flick at them every now and again. But they give a good grip notion to it. And I think it just makes it so much more comfortable to use these. If you can, I would get some thumbstick grips. Normally I do not like thumbstick grips, but they're really nice. They're easily removable and put, uh, easy to put back on. I would just highly recommend getting some for your Switch Joy-Con controllers if you decide to get these. Yeah, I just really wanted to just show that all off to you guys just because the Switch has just been really cool for me. And I just, I really hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you a good idea of how big the console is and if it's really going to be a number one thing for you to get or not. And see if it can fit on your collection. Anyways, dudes, I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, take it easy.